Good morning, good morning, good morning, sunshine. Well, good afternoon. Is it morning or afternoon? Uh, technically speaking, it's still morning. Technically speaking, it's still morning. So we're going to stick with it. still morning. <laughs> Say hi to Deborah Killer. And a very pleasant good morning to you. How are you? I am marvelous, darling. Marvelous. Now, hold on a second. Now, we have some great information coming up because she's doing some marvelous things for the community. But um, I'm going to need your help. You know, I do research. That's what I do, research. And I figured one of these days, this research was going to pay off for us. When I say us, I'm not talking about me, myself, and I. I'm talking about me, you, your mom and them, your cousin and them, all of us. So I got the news brief coming up as of how our taste buds could possibly win us $50,000. I'm in. What? I am in. Now, you know she calls herself a chef. She <laughs> says she knows what she's doing over there with these seasonings, and she's good at tasting. Oh, that's oxtail. That's not... Well, we might need her to help us out. <laughs> it's beef. It, what is that? Beef? beef yeah. What is that? <laughs> What's up, MMA? You want to attend? I'm all for it. So listen, coming up, I got the details as of how our taste buds could win us $50,000. I don't have time to make this stuff up. According to foodandwine.com, I say, oh, I'm in. Sign me up. What diet? We're going to break this diet together to figure it out. Who? Who? Judge me not. Who are you to judge me? I forgive you, friend. Forgive me in advance. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? I say, God want me with this money. I say, sweet baby Jesus wanted me with this money. Because he said any other way, it was going to be a little too hard. But if we had to test her taste buds. Tam, I win this 50 go ahead, grand. Go ahead and do it. You have my permission. She say, I got your permission. That's all I need. But you know what? I got some information coming up for you. I need you to call your cousins now because I don't want you to miss this. And I don't want you to say I was being selfish with the 50 grand chance of winning. And I'm only going to tell it to you once. So don't ask me twice. Pay attention. Pa pay attention. Listen fast. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to do some work. Because other than that, y'all going to start tagging Pat Galloway, talking about tan goofing off at work again. And what? I showed up. That got to count. <laughs> Here we go. I might as well harass Deborah Keller, too. You know the rules. Walk past the glass. Get harassed. Get harassed. Max 9401, Baton Rouge is official. Number one for hip-hop and R&B. Quality control with that, too. Hottie. Yep, here it is, just a Tuesday. We're inching our way closer to Friday. And coming up, I got the details as of how your taste buds could possibly win you $50,000. I'm all in. I'm in too. Speaking of, I'm all in. She walked past the glass. I shall harass none other than Deborah Keller. Deborah and Deborah. Double trouble. <laughs> Double trouble. I like that. What you got going on? I know you're always out and about in the great city of Walker doing some amazing things, but I know you're doing something for the community. It's free. And something about the word free motivates me. It's absolutely free. It's going down on uh, this coming Saturday. October 14th at the LM Lockhart Car Center in Denham Springs. It's our picnic in the park. Nice. Now listen, we could test taste everything just to see who made this potato salad. <laughs> Why is it runny? How come y'all got this crunchy celery in here? What is what is this? You know what I mean? Who's in charge of the potato salad? Absolutely. Um, actually, my husband and my brother-in-law and okay. my cousin. They, okay. they call themselves KMC, Keller, Morris, and Clark. I, Give them a plug there. I like it, Keller, <laughs> Morris, and Clark. <laughs> Shameless plug. And it's all free. What time is it kicking off? It's going to kick off at 10 o'clock a.m. It's going to roll until 2 o'clock p.m. Of course, it's brought to you by, you know, our evangelism team at Roberts United Methodist Church. It's a big family affair. Come on out. Free day for the public. Bring a, the bring their entire family. We're gonna give away a hundred Bibles to the first one hundred kids. Love it. You know to bring that comes with their parents. So parents don't send your children. Bring your children. That's right. Come with them, babies. Yes, we want we want this to make this a, a family day. I love it, and family thank you for day. all that you do. I appreciate you, and don't you dare let them tell you different. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks well, thank for letting you. me be harassed today. <laughs> Perfect timing to get harassed. All for the greater good. <laughs> you keep it locked right when you have it. And that's Max 941. <laughs> Painless. Thank you, Mr. Board Keller. That was okay. That was marvelous. Okay. I appreciate you. No, thank you so much. Anytime, my love. Now look, and y'all know that's my brooch hookup too, right? Like <laughs> oh, she absolutely. keep a beautiful brooch with her. I'd be like, ooh, let me borrow that brooch. No outfit is complete without a brooch. So, look, she about to get back to work. But I'm trying to figure out a way for us to tell them people at work we ain't coming back because we want 50 grand. Thanks, You're welcome. Love you. 
So foodandwine.com has posted this article that Oreo cookies have come out with what they're calling a mystery flavor. You know how they have the airheads and then they'll come out with the white airheads and that's supposed to be like the mystery flavor. AJ, what up? AJ Boogie. I'm at work pretending to work. I'm trying to come up with this $50,000 mystery taste though. You in or no? <laughs> mystery Oreo cookie. If you can guess the flavor of the mystery filling of the Oreo cookie, they said they're going to give you $50,000. Now, to show you, I don't have time to make this stuff up. I really and truly do not. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. See that? Mystery Oreo. It's a limited edition. Limited edition, according to Food and Wine, with the mystery Oreo cookie. What's the flavor? He said, I saw $50,000 and had to tune in. <laughs> Uh, thank you, the man. I appreciate you. Hi, Sagittarius Peterson. What's up? Patterson. Yo, yo. What's up, yo, yo? You over there with Zara, my baby. See this? And they're trying to figure it out. So people have been calling in and writing in, trying to see if they were getting close. I'm going to tell you what they came up with. Some people said it tasted like waffles and syrup. Okay, not bad for a cookie. Then somebody else wrote in that it was cookie butter. And they went from waffles and syrup to cookies and butter to Swedish fish. That's a hell of a jump. How you go from waffles and syrup to Swedish fish? Or maybe I just hadn't tasted Swedish fish. I don't know. I don't know. Sharon, what's up, my field trip? What's up, my hey? What's going on, Mama Sandra, darling? I'm trying to figure out how we're going to win this $50,000. $50,000 according to foodandwine.com. They got this new Oreo with a mystery flavor. And the new mystery flavor will win you $50,000. And then they say get creative because it may have been a flavor that we haven't done yet. And people were recommending that we'll do it. It might be a bride's cake Oreo. Maybe they teamed up with Bluebell. Hey, Vernon, what's up? Lizzie, 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 darling. I miss you, Lizzie. Come see me. I'm at work pretending to work this much. But I have a plan because Oreos is giving us a chance to win $50,000. Hey, you know what? This is what we're going to do, Lizzie. A field trip to the parking lot. And we're going to put um, a bunch of Oreo cookies in jars. And we're going to let people come. And we're going to let them fill out what they think is the mystery flavor. And whoever gives us the winning, we'll give them like 5% of the $50,000. Because teamwork. Teamwork. No? No? Never hurt to try. You gotta put taste buds together. We better. Is it a gumbo Oreo? Hey, Keith, what's up? DJ Cliff, I'm gonna come. What's up, baby? So, listen, a gumbo Oreo. No, okay, that's not gonna work. Um, they haven't done a chitlin Oreo yet. <laughs> okay, so maybe, maybe it was egg and rice. If it's a mystery flavor, like, people not gonna put that together. What type of cookie have they not done? That would be worth a $50,000 ticket. Starburst Oreo? It can't be something like grape because everybody would understand or taste the grape flavor. It might be a mango Oreo. Catfish, bye. <laughs> a catfish Oreo. No, you are not about to come up here with that. Where can I get this mystery, oh, mystery Oreo? Now, that's another mystery. They didn't say where they're releasing it. It might just be that one pack that you got to dig deep. Because, see, I started falling out with Oreo when they started doing, like, um, spearmint and peppermint. Well, y'all won't mess up a perfectly good cookie. Like, Thanksgiving is coming up, so turkey and dressing. Ooh, that might work. That might... In a weird, like, way, that might work. <laughs> I mean, we'll try it at least once. Nick, that's good, though. That's good. Snowball? Snowball Oreo? Roast beef Oreo? No. I don't know. They're going to have to come out with more details. Because, see, even the Girl Scouts started getting too creative with their cookies. And now I'm looking at them side eye like, don't come around here with no raspberry cookies. You know what I'm here for. Where them shortbreads at? <laughs> Where them dosed doles at? Mm. Mm. You got what? Yeah, I tried that. Give me two boxes. And then they got the nerves to go up on them. Mm -mm, Y'all too expensive to be playing around with my flavors. Then they started the strawberry Oreos. And I don't want no pink filling in my Oreos. It ain't supposed to be that. Banana split? 
that might not be so bad. Because then it's like the cookie would be the fudge. And now I'm trying to figure out if they're going to keep it with the original Oreo cookie. Or are they going to do like that vanilla cookie? Which was another thing I didn't like that Oreo started doing either. Like, why play around with the cookie? That ain't what I'm here for. That, that, I don't know. But now their sales are going to go up because a cheesecake. Oh, that would be that would be nice. A cheesecake Oreo cookie. No, but see, they wouldn't use that for the mystery flavor because we wouldn't know it was cheesecake. So it's got to be peach, peach. But no, nah, we'd identify peach like that. And you know they're not about to give us 50,000. Crawfish. Craw no, we wouldn't know what crawfish tastes like. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. What does Swedish fish taste like? Because somebody put up here for their suggestions that they think it tastes something like Swedish fish. Is that the little red candy? <laughs> he put up the green face like, who want to do that and why? <laughs> for 50000 <000? laughs> That's why. Hey, Toy Nika Lachey Ray. I miss you, Toy Nika Lachey Ray. No, that's not her name, but I renamed her. Hey, Toy. Toy, you Toya Lanika Lachey Ray. Red bean. Uh-uh. <laughs> Red bean Oreo. Pomegranate. We would never guess that. We wouldn't. Because you can hand me a pomegranate and then tell me it's a pomegranate. I'd be like, oh, that's what it tastes like? <laughs> so, sweet potato. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet potato Oreo. That would be nice. Hey, Nikita. What's up, Nikita? Listen, we are Swedish fish. King, Kingston favorite. That's that little candy? That's a little red candy. Is it, Ma? Hey, Kina, what's up? Hey, Luke, raise the roof, Luke. <laughs> Laura said, mm mm. You got too much going. Mm mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> what's up, Daryl? Oreo cookies then came out with this mystery Oreo. And they're going to pay up to $50,000. To whomsoever can be the one. That's going to guess that mystery flavor. It's a limited edition. Guess the correct flavor for a chance to win $50,000. And it's the mystery flavored cream. Watch it be kale. Healthy foods will remain a mystery to Oreo eaters. <laughs> AJ, I would win that one fresh out the gate. You know I have kale and spinach and broccoli every week. And Brussels sprouts too. <laughs> Boy, that'd be too much like right. Like, look at God. <laughs> Give me a pat on the shoulder for doing right for once. <laughs> I'm trying. Talk about, yeah, um, can I get that Brussels sprout Oreo cookie? You know I'm on that diet. It requires more veggies. So <laughs> I need the Brussels sprout Oreo. No, I tried it. I tried it. Hey, you know what? We also have some great news coming in, too, according to WAFB.com. Have y'all heard? Have you heard? We're going to get back to this $50,000 because we're going to have to find out exactly where they're having the um, packages ducked off. Uh-oh, wait a second. I might have... Man, that was quick. Adrian Peterson traded to the Arizona Cardinals. That was a quick run. What? Didn't he just get here this season? I was about to talk about something else, and then I saw that come up. But I know y'all banned and protesting the NFL, so we're not paying attention to that. But I just figured I'd mention that because that's the first thing that flashed up across my screen when I went to WAFB.com, Adrian Peterson said, I won't be down here with y'all gumbo no more. Yeah, so he's going to the Arizona, um, Arizona Cardinals. He wasn't here the whole five games. Okay, so I was telling you that the news that came across earlier today, according to WAFB.com, the BRPD police chief candidates, they were set to take their written test today. And it was like 12, maybe 16, 18 candidates. But they're going to figure out which one is best fit and suited for the job of possibly being the new police chief for the Baton Rouge Police Department. So today for the written test, they're going to take that um, and they need to make at least a 75 in order to pass. Now, if you're not familiar with the candidates, I will encourage you to go to WAFB.com. They have like a short bio that's posted there. Google, Facebook, get to know, get, get know these people. Get to know these people. These people going to get to know us. Get to know these people. Why not? You know what I mean? It's there. Good morning, Nehemiah. How are you? Good morning. What's up, Teresa? How are you? What up? And I might have some tickets to give away, too. Man, I did not know that the boy was even up to be traded. Like, I get, well, I wonder if he knew. He was probably negotiating on the sideline. Like, just, just make me the water boy. I ain't going back out there right now. <laughs> Oh, well. A thousand leads later, authorities still slumped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're still out.